Hello and welcome. My name is Renee, and together we'll be exploring the topic of resources. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how resources support better learning. I'll be sharing some ideas you can easily implement in your classroom to help make learning more personalized and memorable, for which you'll only need simple tools like colored paper or pictures. And at the end, watch out for my top tip. If you reflect on a time when you learned the most, it was most likely a combination of something you and your teacher were doing. Our classrooms consist of a wide variety of individuals. If you think of any of your classes, you will most probably have students who like to see, write down, move and arrange things. Others who respond well to doing and engaging all their senses and their body. Those who enjoy connecting through listening and sound, responding well to rhyme, rhythm and repetition. And perhaps those who enjoy solving puzzles, making lists and ordering things. Some may enjoy collaborating in pairs and groups, while others might appear to learn better alone. Our job as teachers is to cater for them all. And this is where I find resources very helpful. Many of our learners will respond well to and benefit from a wide variety of resources. Their learning will be helped by the hands-on participation. They'll enjoy co-constructing meaning and the element of play and self-discovery that resources can offer. Firstly, resources help us to personalize what we're learning, to make those important connections that aid memory and help our recall. Resources like pictures, rhymes, adding your own examples, completing a table, mapping and games will help learners make the content or skill you are teaching their own. It'll help them to make the connections they need in order to learn and remember new things. For example, get your students to fold an A4 piece of paper into eight. Do a drawing dictation to revise vocabulary so they draw a picture in each square. Get them to cut out the squares. These cards can be used for a variety of activities, from writing stories and speaking to guessing games. There's a lot of research in support of using this kind of play, especially where the students are testing each other and pretending to be teachers. Secondly, resources help make things memorable because they allow us to arrange new information into a meaningful way, to brand it in some way. And so resources that have color, sound, pattern, shape, or require physical movement can help learners create the connections they need for absorption and recall. For example, give your students a collection of words on cards. Once you've helped them with those they didn't know, ask them to arrange the words in a meaningful pattern, to map them. Then ask them to explain to their partner or another group why they chose this arrangement. Saying it out loud will also help them learn and remember. Finally, get them to reproduce this pattern in their notebooks. Clever, systematic and consistent use of the board or walls in our classroom will also be helpful. For example, give your learners strips of colored papers and ask them to write a seven word summary of what they learnt near the end of the lesson. Post these around the room to provide a gallery experience. Let them walk around in pairs, debating and selecting the ones that best reflect the lesson. Keep one strip summary from each lesson and place it on the board in class so that together the learners build a summary wall of what they learned that month or term. It's very motivating to see it build up over time and a good memory aid. It also makes a handy display for parents who can see what has been learned. Ultimately, what is important is that you consider the needs and interests of all your learners 
and make sure you're catering for their variety of learning preferences when planning and teaching. Resources then, rather than being extras, allow us to ensure that real learning is taking place. So to end, here is my top tip. You don't need to generate all the resources yourself. Let your students contribute and help make the resources for games, quizzes, and other activities. It is excellent in-class or at-home practice and a good indication of whether they've learned something.